Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us this truth. And Shalom to Almighty Akim and Akbath out there who are diligently waiting to be delivered from this final captivity. And today's topic's going to be a quick one. It's going to be about, don't, it's going to be entitled, Don't Build Carnally build spiritually now I did do a, another video similar to this but honestly I really I want to do another video again because uh, there's mo there's still more to that you can touch on there's more that you can uh, go into okay so that's why it's gonna be a, a short one because it's just a few new things that I myself found all right, so starting, uh, starting with Luke chapter 12, verse 13. And one of the company said unto him, Master, speak to my brother, that he divide the inheritance with me. And he said unto him, Man, who made me a judge or a divider over you? And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of the things which he possesseth. possesseth. So, basically, um, a man is talking to Yahweh Shai and asking him to uh, tell his brother to give him some of the uh, some of the inheritance, some of the wealth that uh, his brother has, but he's not sharing. Okay, but and that's and that's the context from X from that. We're gonna get into it more. But um, in verse fifteen, um, Yahweh Shai is saying, "Don't, don't." A man, a person's life should is not all about just things that he has. All right, and watch out for covetousness. Covetousness, um, which let's get the definition of the word mm -hmm. covetousness. Covetousness, greedy, acquisitive, grasping, avaricious. You know all these, basically having mean having or showing a strong desire for especially material possessions. Okay, so. You know, that's wanting a lot of material things, being carnal, okay? That's basically what Yahweh Shai is warning um, the, the people, the man from, okay? And by extension, everyone else reading this, all right? Verse 16, And he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. And he said, this will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. And there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease. Eat, drink, and be merry. But Yahweh said, said, said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then whose shall those things be? which thou hast provided. So is he that layeth up treasure for himself and is not rich towards Yahweh. Okay, so basically, um, uh, there was a rich man who had a lot, okay, and his, he had the, um, his fields bore a lot of fruit, but the problem with that was uh, he, the, the, the main um, idea well, the main concept to grasp from it is that yes you can have a lot of things the most high Yahweh blessed him with a lot of um, harvest at that time but he thought he thought car because he um slaki I'm not gonna insert anything and say that he thought car carnally but the main the main thing was thinking about only the um the carnal aspect of it you can looking at it simply it's just that um it, it look at it at a parallel we the man in the um the man in the parable had a lot but if you um par make look at it in, at today's perspective someone that has a lot now the same thing could happen to them they could be they could die immediately right after or immediately um, 
before, you know, during and all that stuff like that. So even while they have all those things, who's going to have it? Who's going to have it afterwards? Like Michael Jackson, he died, he was rich, but, you know, who who actually, um, he, he didn't get to fully enjoy, you know, all that he had. He didn't get to flourish, you know, he didn't get to enjoy all his days with all that he had. And that's, that's basically the lesson that um, is being taught here. Yes, you can have things, and it's not evil to have things. But if that is your number one, number one priority, then that's where you're going off. All right. And, you know, a, for another, a precept to this is First Timothy, chapter six, verse 10. For the love of money is the root of all evil. Now, notice it says the love of money. It doesn't say money is the root of all evil. That's a misquote. It's the love of money is the root of all evil. Continuing on, which while some coveted after they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through through with many sorrows all right so yes it, it's all right to have money but when they love money and they go chasing after money that's when the uh, issue of okay so i i want i need to spend all my time um chasing after the bag instead of um let me you know, read some scriptures, let me go preach the word, let me do my part for the Most High Yahweh, all right? See, so when you are spending all your time on, in, on, um, on carnal things, you know, material things, that's when you're going off and that's where you err, okay? So you need to be able to spend more time for the Most High so that you will be rich in the Most High, because if we go back in Luke 12, 21, so is he that layeth up treasure for himself and is not rich towards Yahweh. The rich man was rich carnally and rich to the world, but he wasn't rich with the Most High because he didn't have, um, he didn't have a lot of hours in with the Most High, okay? So just like how you try to clock in, get some hours in to, uh, at work, so you can get paid a lot of money. It's the same with the Most High. You try to clock in a lot of hours with the Most High, so that the Most High, so that you will be rich with the Most High. The Most High has a lot of blessings and rewards for you for your for your labor. All right. Now, Second Corinthians chapter four verse eighteen. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not are eternal. Okay, so just another, um, I, I, brought, I brought this out before, but um, before in another video, but again, like you have to understand that these things, even if he was able to enjoy and live his life, enjoying all those things that he had, it, it was going to all run out eventually. Those are temporal things. They're not, they're not everlasting. The kingdom of heaven is everlasting and that's why we have to work towards the most high seek the kingdom seek Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai while he may be found and then and then everything else is going to come after all right and with that I want to give all honor glory and praises to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash and with that I want to say Shalom